Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We are opening up 2022 Panini Mosaic Football. These are retail packs. We got one of each of these off of the Walmart website. Uh, so we have a cello pack here. These run uh, $15 or $15.98, I believe. Uh, the um, hanger packs, now uh, they're hanger packs, no longer hanger boxes. These are $21.98. And then the blaster boxes are $35. So uh, a little bit more expensive. You can get these all right now on Target, and they're a little cheaper. I think the um, cell packs are $15, uh, and the hangers are $20, and the blasters are $30. So um, you might want to save a little money, go to Target. Um, but I got these off of the Walmart website. They came really fast. So in this first pack, uh, this is a cello pack. You're going to get uh, the retail exclusive um uh, pink camo parallels in these like you have in the years past but I think it's just one pack this year and they're all together um, so you get the three mosaic uh, camo pink parallels and then one other mosaic parallel on the back you can see here what you can possibly pull um, there are uh, the case hits in here so on this uh, blaster boxes you can get the razzle dazzle you can also get these i believe in uh the cello packs um and then uh the other uh things like the genesis uh and then a honeycomb i believe those are all possible as well as autographs so let me just take a look at the at this off camera um so yeah you can get the razzle dazzle the storm chasers the glass mosaic and the busted uh are all on here all in these uh, packs at least the possibility of pulling one so let's open this up see what is inside before we do that if you could please hit that like button uh, greatly appreciate it we haven't done football for a while here on the channel hasn't been a lot of good affordable football out so now that uh, retail is out of mosaic it makes it a lot more affordable to rip obviously you're not getting the, a chance at the number of parallels as easily as you are in hobby but the price point is a lot better so if you haven't seen the design yet here is uh what it looks like uh, there's a taylor boyd for our first card and there's the bat let me know what you think about the design in the comments below there's a lot of little dust particles on that card all right so kyler murray um Lattimore. Uh, obviously there's a nice one uh, herbert although it does have a nice print line or scratch in it. Actually, that's a scratch. Um, so we'll see how the quality control is out of this this year. Um, I think the design's pretty solid. Um, it's definitely a little different than the years before, but uh, I think, uh, you know, people are probably getting a little sick of the super bland design, but, you know, it definitely had uh, its own look. Mosaic. I'm a big fan of Mosaic. I always love ripping retail Mosaic. So here's a Bailey Zappi. Not a bad rookie to pull. And then a Daxton Hill. And of course, we're looking for Brock Purdy. That's the guy we're looking for. And then there's a Zamir White. Uh, this is going to be the Silver Mosaic. So you can tell on the back of these if it's a silver one because it's going to say prism there up on top. Whereas in these don't say that there. Sometimes it's in a different part of the card. Usually though it's in a similar place. Let's see if I can not knock down the backdrop. All right. And there we have a nice Lamar Jackson green. Uh, Lamar Jackson with the red, white, and blue behind him. And then a Hunter Henry for our first pink uh, camo. And then, and that's not bad, Sam Howell. I don't think he played it all this year, but hey, at least we got a rookie quarterback. Um, and this draft class, of course, is not the greatest. Um, and then a Derek Sterling Jr. And behind that, we have a touchdown Masters. That's nice. Stefan Diggs for the Buffalo Bills. And that is a sweet-looking insert. Uh, Thunder Lane, Ezekiel Elliott. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do like the look of that one. That's a sharp looking insert. Uh, I believe that's a new one for this year. I don't remember pulling any of those last year. Let's open up a hanger box next. The hanger or hanger pack, sorry. I get so used to call them hanger boxes because for years they came in cardboard boxes. Unfortunately, uh, uh, you know, Walmart does not ship these very well. Uh, although these came all right, uh, they didn't look damaged, but they just throw them in a box. Uh, I wish they were in boxes just for that sake. So you get four exclusive orange reactive parallels in here. Um, and then also a chance at the rookie variations. I think 
They may have one per hanger pack, but I am not sure. Uh, I know in Optic, you definitely got one per hanger pack. Let's see if that's the case here or if it's like last year where I believe they were not one in every hanger box, but uh, they, they were fairly common. So Drew Brees, a Warren Sap. I like how they throw a few of, there's a Malik Willis. Unfortunately, Malik did not have the most stellar rookie season. I like how they do have these veterans in here. Um, Warren Sapp, uh, Lawrence Taylor, um, Michael Vick. So a whole bunch of veterans, Aaron Ro or retired players. And then, of course, guys like Aaron Rodgers. Looks like in that picture, he does have his long hair. Um, there's a Marvin Jones Jr., See how the Jaguars do against the Chargers. I'm rooting for the Chargers, but I would still like to see the Jaguars um, play well. And if they move on, I won't be too heartbroken, although I'm a big Chargers fan. There's a nice Christian Watson. This guy had a really good rookie season. Um, I think probably a surprise to some. Uh, we do have a silver back there, so that's nice. James Cook, still no Brock Purdy set. Oh, speaking of him, there he is, Brock Purdy. This is like a $4,000 card right now. Just kidding. Um, I think that stuff will come off. It's just like dust from the manufacturing or cardboard pieces. I don't think it's a scratch. Uh, although it could be. It probably, no, it's not. It's going to come off. I'll just be careful not to rub it with my finger and get a little soft cloth. But Brock Purdy cards are pretty hot right now. No pun intended. Um, they are very hot because this is his... One of his only rookie cards. There's a couple others, but this one's going to be highly sought after. He is actually in an NFL uh, warm-up practice uniform there, so that's pretty cool. Behind that, we have a nice silver mosaic, Stefan Diggs. Uh, that is pretty sweet. So that uh, I love the look of the silver mosaics. Definitely sharp looking. And then we have our orange, and boy, these are nice and bright. I do like the look of these. I have not seen any of these yet on YouTube. I've seen people open seller, cello packs and hang or, uh, blaster boxes, but no hanger packs. So uh, it's pretty cool to see these in person. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, and then we do have a Josh Jacobs. They do have those little tiny NFL logos up on the, the top, and not a Brock Purdy, but a Fred Warner. And then behind that, oh, that's a cool card. Um, Thornton. Now, let's see. That looks different. Anyways, what? Oh, no, it's not. It's just on the other side. Okay, so what they did, it looks like, is they put this design up here for the orange for the veterans on the right side. And then on the left side, they put that little silver spot right there. Um, so that's kind of how you can tell, I guess, between the rookies and the veterans. So that's pretty nice. Um, and then behind that, we have a will to win Kyle Pitts. And last but not least, a hollow fame, not hall of fame, but hall of fame. Um, and of course, mean Joe Green, very famous for his Coca-Cola commercial back in the day. Was it the seventies or early eighties? I can't remember. It's pretty old. So the orange look pretty nice. Maybe we'll have to open up one more of those at the end of the video. Um, the hangers uh, definitely do not give you a, a rookie variation in each one. So it'll be interesting to see how hard it is to pull those variations. Are they really tough? And then, you know, somebody like a Brock Purdy, that would sell pretty well, I would imagine. But at least we did pull one of his rookie cards so far. Now we're getting into the blaster boxes. So the Razzle Dazzle, they advertise here. Look for those. And then you can see what you can pull out of here. Uh, so once again, you can pull uh, autographs, I believe. Yep, the Scripps cards, um, which are the autographs, uh, the Honeycomb, the Genesis, uh, all kinds of stuff. So a lot of case hits out of the, the retail, which is really cool. So out of that cello pack, I believe you can pull most all the stuff out of the blasters and hanger boxes. I could be mistaken. If I am, let me know in the comments below. But in these blaster boxes, as it says here, you get six packs with six cards per pack. Let's see who we can find in these packs. Um, uh, Johnson, uh, so we have uh, Gasecki, and in this pack we do have, it looks like a silver mosaic, I believe. Von Miller, and there he is, nice. I was hoping to pull one of his. Uh, Hutchinson, so uh, this guy, 
uh, played super well for the Lions. Um, actually, some of his stats line up with some of the premier all-time greats um, in uh, our on defense. So uh, Hutchinson had a great uh, rookie season. And then there's uh, Hassan Haskins, uh, silver, mosaic silver. So that's pretty nice. That's a beautiful looking card. I do like these. I feel like these are underappreciated. And then there's a nice Nick Chubb. Uh, the Touchdown Masters cards look pretty cool. Um, definitely a fun insert, in my opinion. I do like the addition of those. All right, let's see what else we can find out of this blaster box. Maybe we can pull Autograph. Um, or a Genesis or a Honeycomb. Love to pull a Honeycomb. Um, the Genesis are nice, but the Honeycombs to me are even better. There's a Tom Brady with the flag in the background. Now, I don't know if he has another card in here. Like, he had a million cards last year in Mosaic. So, 251. I'm not sure if there's a different version without the flag in the back. Have not seen enough of this open. Uh, and there is Eric um, for the Miami Dolphins, who are going to be without their starting quarterback this week. And there's a Darnar, Darnell Mooney um, Green Mosaic. So, all right, next pack. Yeah, too bad Tua is injured, and too bad that Teddy Bridgewater is injured. Uh, they're going to have to start their third stringer. Uh, but, hey, let's root for them to play well, although they're going against the Bills, so that is going to be a tough game. Uh, yeah, hopefully they can play well, and uh, it'll be a good playoff game. Looking forward to the playoffs starting tomorrow. Um, let me know who you are rooting for. There's a nice Patrick Mahomes. That's just a base. Um, he does not have the American flag in the background. And then there's Thunder Lane again, Najee Harris. All right, three more packs to go. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Uh, if you have, uh, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Comment below. Let me know what you think about uh, this year's Mosaic football. There is a Matt Carell. Uh, nice uh, to get, always nice in my opinion, to get a rookie quarterback and then the nice randy moss green uh, mosaic so that's pretty sweet all right so you do get um you know the greens are never super popular but at least you get a few of those in it looks like a blaster box um and there's a mac jones last year's guy and there is justin jefferson so uh, 264. I'm guessing these are like a higher number in the set. I did not look at the checklist, so I'm guessing these are um, higher number versions, but I could be totally wrong on that. That's just a total guess. There's a Dunza Ward. Uh, Dak Prescott, see if they can beat the Buccaneers. And nice, a nice Joe Burrow will to win insert, but this is the green mosaic. And behind that, we have a Mac Jones will to win. So, interesting. Back to back, we have the uh, base version and then the parallel the green parallel version all right last pack let's see if we can pull something big out of this last pack so far these uh what i've seen in these blasters is eh, you know you can definitely pull big cards out of them but i haven't seen people pulling uh massive cards out of the limited ones that have been uh done on youtube i think they made a ton of this stuff i'm just guessing there's a tyler batty uh, Beatty. Uh, and then a Jamal Adams for the Seahawks. So we did not pull any Kenneth Walker cards out of here, but let's open up one more of these hanger packs to end it just because we haven't seen many of those. So let's do a little bonus for you guys. One more hanger pack. See if we can pull any really good orange mosaic uh, parallel rookie cards out of here. Or maybe something else. Maybe one of the uh, rookie variations. Drew Brees. Too bad he is out of the league. Or maybe even a Genesis. Joe Montana. Landry. Uh, Watson. We'll see what kind of season he can have next year. See if he can rebound. Um, wish anybody liked that the best as they try to make a comeback. Um, Logan Hall. Um, Jones Jr. Vellis Jones Jr. A Drake Jackson, and then a Snoop Connor, and not the guy we're looking for, Harold Landry, uh, Silver, 
But let's see who we can get out of these orange. All right, so there's a Darnell Moody, um, Mooney orange, a Elvin Kamara orange, and we have a Reggie Wayne. And so we'll see what our rookie is here. Rookie is going to be Calvin Austin the third. And behind that, a touchdown Masters. Nice one, uh, Travis Kelsey. And last but not least, the Thunder Lane card of Jonathan Taylor. All right, guys. So no, no big, huge cards out of there. Although we did pull that one Brock Purdy and we did get a nice Hutchinson card out of there. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Here is a stack of all the various, I should say all the rookies, but many of them. Uh, inserts, parallels. Um, all that stuff. So you do get a lot out of these. Uh, once again, we opened up two of the hanger packs, one cello pack, and one blaster box. So did not break the bank on this one. Um, uh, but we did get a lot of fun cards, um, decent cards, and the cards look good. I, I'd say only a few of the cards, in my opinion, had uh, quality control issues overall from what I've seen so far. It looks pretty solid. So let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're doing well. Take care. Have fun collecting. We will see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys.